I'll make this quick video for you. Uh, this goes to the viewers that wanted to see MK9 on the emulators. I did it for both PS3, for our PCS3, and I'm doing it for Xbox 360 Xenia. Make sure if you do the Xenia, do the Xenia Canary build because that, that's the one that works better for the Steam Deck. So we're going to start off with the uh, PS3 one first. I'll show you how to do it. I did the complete edition on the PS3 and both the Xbox, also the original version as well. So, uh, when you do get on here, it does have some frame drops and stuff like that for the PS3. Um, when you first run it up, it's going to compile shaders and all that stuff. So, make sure you know the first time you play it, it's, it's, it's going to be glitchy and stuff at first, as for both the Xbox and uh, the PS3. But, Looking at it, they still run pretty well. Not as bad. It could be a little bit fixed. It's, I think it runs better on the Xbox. And hey, you'll see that once you uh, watch this video. And try to watch it to the entirety so that way you can make the assumption whether you want to put it on here or not. But as far as it plays, both systems, it plays decently on both sides. It's just the Xbox side seemed like it did run a lot better. You would think the PS3 side would run better since it's compatible with every game now. but. PS3 and Xbox 360 emulation still a lot of work tweaks and stuff that got to be fixed on the games side of the things and what system you got. Now if you had a more powerful system than the Steam Deck, then yeah, you can pretty much run even and probably even way more flawless. But for the most part, it's not. They they run more. They run pretty well. I mean, as you see at the top of the corner, they said the FPS is at 60 FPS. Uh, I'm gonna go through the training on both systems, and then I'm gonna fight test your luck against them, both of them. And Scorpio, Sub Zero. And of course, like I said, I had to run these games a couple of times before I even put it on the channels to show you that they were running. See how slow the PS3 running 20, 21 frames per second. It's kind of slow. It'll pick up speed later on eventually. Kind of slow on the PS3 side. If I just let it run right back a little bit, try to pile up. See if we can pile up his frames. See it's starting to move 30 frames. But then, see it froze up. Don't have that problem as much on the Xbox side. It doesn't freeze up. Now, it will crash, but it doesn't freeze up. See how it froze up on that. So, PS3 side, I really wouldn't do it. It does run, but it doesn't run the best. Now, it don't crash all the time on PS3 side, but it will crash. Alright, so on the Xenia side, why did I didn't even start on this one? But it got it in the background already. Alright, I'm gonna pick it up. As long as it's in the background, the thing I did was open it up. Alright, open Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Right. And this will be the Xenia 360 side. I hadn't had any issue of it crashing. And the frame seemed to be working better on this side. Because uh, I mean, well, I, it's not like you can play this online. Scorpion. Same thing. Sub Zero. And as you see, it was a lot. See how fast and fluid it is. So PS3 size surprisingly it doesn't run as fast. I mean, it runs, it does run, it don't crash all the time, but as you see it did crash. So I wouldn't suggest having a PS3 version. Get the Xbox 360 version from Vims or any other website or the other website or if you have a CD it's just downloaded on CD. You can see it, it's fine. It might have a little screen tear in and there. I ain't never did that move before, and that's why it took so long. It's got to register the moves, and once it registered that move, it'll start. See, it's getting slow. They have crash sometimes, too. So sometimes I try it again. Try the original version. I think the original version worked better than a complete edition. It crashes, but it does crashes. I mean, it don't always crash. It 
it just does for some reason. Sub Zero. Sometimes it crashes. Sometimes you can play it for a good while. I don't. I just don't know. I don't know what it is, but it is. crash so I'm not gonna say it's gonna crash on your end that's why I said just just uh, still try it out see for yourself but as you can see it runs and it runs better on the Xbox side but for some reason it still crashes but they didn't this is not the only game that crashes on you it's the Xenia applicator that's making it crash I don't know if because of the lack of memory or what it could be it could be some other things too or it could be me trying to sign into the Xbox account and it don't have no sign in. That might be the reason why too. You might not need to sign in. Maybe just hit continue without saving. It's not like you sign into your account. Johnny Cage. you'll see that all the flaws that I'm showing you I'm not going to hide the flaws what's the point of hiding stuff it's the point of me testing it for you guys or anybody else that wants to see it you know to see that this game does have some flaws I'm try to test your luck on the uh, original version without the uh, complete edition game runs it just got a lot of bugs in it test your luck. that's why on playstation side it's still in game they still gotta get a lot of stuff fixed in this game. And let's see it freezes. Alright, so all in all, that game does run. It's not the best, it's not in the polished, most polished state. You can still play it, you can still download it, but as far as does it run, yeah, it runs. Especially on the Xbox side. But on the PlayStation side, as you can see, it does say, uh, I'm sorry, wrong right up there. It does say it's in game. On the uh, PlayStation side, um, as you can see, in game. Let's make sure this story one more combat right here. In game, I could get the update as well. That probably another thing that could probably help it, but it does say in game. As you can see, these ain't playable because they pretty much are playable. But with it being in game, the same with uh, J Stars, it's, it, it's it's up to you whether you want to take a chance or not. So, but if you enjoyed it, I appreciate you. Hit a like on this uh, channel, subscribe, like the video, and share it with anybody else that needs uh, any help with stuff like that. If there's anything else that you want to see, also put down in the comments, just like the other viewer has. He put he want to see MK9. It's on the channel now, so that way he can see a view and test it out for himself. Um, 
like I say, maybe he might find ways to tweak the game inside the emulators itself because they always tweak these games. I'm just not the most tech savvy person when it comes to tweaking stuff. Uh, but we learning the same, everybody trying to learn on the same page, trying to, everybody trying to get together, you know, stuff like that. So if you have any way to help me out and be able to teach me to get the game working in a better state, let me know as well. Um, yeah, like I said, if there's any other game that you want to see to us or any other devices or items, household items, stuff like that, also put it in the comment section. So, you know. But that's enough for me. Until I see you guys in the next video, peace.